right, everybody, welcome to week two of 26 and 21. And we are on, so we are on week two of the circuit board quilt. So this video, we're gonna be looking at some piecing and getting the blocks together and then turning it all into a quilt top. Will it happen by the end? Stay tuned. So here we are. It is day six of quilt number one. So today is actually January 6th as well. It's the only time that's going to work like this. I've seen a little bit of the sewing. Here is my update of where we're at. So I've got most of my traditional pieces, my blocks all pieced. So all I need to do is add a border on the strip on the top and a strip on the bottom. And then it'll be good to go. And then I'll be officially on to my paper piecing blocks. And from there, then it's gonna be, once those are done, it'll be on to getting it all together, which is crazy. The paper piecing blocks are pretty simple, it looks like. So it's just a strip on a square on a triangle. So once those are done, it'll be smooth sailing. So I have no doubts that this will be done in time, unless I really fall behind. So here we go. I'm gonna start sewing some more strips now. It's day seven and I'm not getting any work done, but that's okay. Um, today I trained someone in their home on their long arm, so it got to be about 7.30, 7.45 before heading home for the night, obviously. As you can see cars driving behind me. I'm not home yet. I'm in my car eating Taco Bell because that's what 2020 has done to me. Eating in my car is something that happens very often. So hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got um, Friday night hangout with my quilt guild. So I'll be able to get a lot of um, piecing done while I hang out on Zoom. Okay. Here we are for a Saturday night update. It is the 9th, which means in this week it's day 9 of 14 of this quilt top. And we are going to use my design wall. So welcome to my room. Um, you know, I can see much of it because it's kind of messy right now. But um, all my blocks are done and ready. And now it is just time to get the layout for getting it ready to sew into rows tomorrow and then get it quilted this week. I'm hoping for Tuesday. Tuesday's my quilting day plan. So I'm gonna go to work. I'm going to work, work, work for eight hours and then I'm gonna do some long arming. So that is my plan for Tuesday, but I gotta get through Sunday and Monday first. And tonight it's, it's 10, 15. So I've still got about two more hours of Saturday left to count. So here we go. So here we are having to improvise. I had to use my bed for seven of the width. And then the other three from the width are on my design wall, except for the bottom row that didn't fit. So it's hanging out on my mini crock pots. But it's all laid out now. I even had to make one more block because I, I miscounted um, my single strip blocks. I had one extra double, so I had to go make one more, but there we are. So now I'm going to clip these in rows and get them ready for sewing. Here's our update. We're getting some rows sewn together, and by the end of the night, this will all be one quilt top. So you've seen 
the piecing you've seen a little bit behind the scenes and guess what all the rows were all sewn together so now I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek at the finished quilt top so today is Tuesday um, when this is getting posted and my plan that you'll see very soon next week's video is the quilting of the quilt so take a peek at these final sneak peek pictures and then come back next time for the finished product so I'll see you then bye